YouTube channel. Hey guys, Mar Jacob 7 right here, and welcome to the Nintendo Channel tutorial. Or the, yeah, Reconnect 24 Nintendo Channel tutorial. I'll figure out the title later. Anyways, guys, uh, if you've heard recently, Reconnect 24 developers, they were able to get the Nintendo Channel back up and running. And right now, they've only got a few things working. Uh, as time goes on, they'll eventually get it up and running fully. And all that stuff. So, uh, all the links that that I'll be going to in the video, I'll put them down in the description below. And if I seem to miss one, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'll reply to you once I get it put in the description. So, right here... Uh, here what you'll need to go to is the first link in the description which would be the tweet that reconnect 24 had sent out um, talking about that they had uh, got the Nintendo channel back up or patcher to patch it so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, go to github the github link right here that they have in their tweet so and on this page I'll put this link in there too. This picture right here, this is the patcher that you use on your computer to update the files on your desktop. So, what we're going to do now is scroll down where, and we're just going to click and download the reconnect24 patcher.bat file. So, let's go ahead and save this and download it. Uh, ignore all of that. This is definitely not my second time redoing this video. Ah, oh, can't be. But I don't. But I don't. Sorry if that burst y'all's eardrums. I'll put warning head. I'll uh put rip headphone users. <laughs> Even though you're gonna hear me say that after. Um. So, anyways, uh, do 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 do. Now that we got that downloaded on the in the folder I made on desktop earlier. Let's go ahead and you can go ahead and close out your browser now because you won't need it. So, we're going to go down to here to the folder we made. So, reconnect24, patch it up at. So, it'll open up a window that looks like this. So, reconnect your Wii. So, it you have four different options. I'm going to click one for start. Or, I'm going to type in one for start. It'll be checking for updates. So, announcement Nintendo Channel is ready. Patch it using our patcher. Join our Discord server. I'll put this link in the description below too so you guys can join Reconnect 24 server. And they'll help out too with helping you figure out some errors that show up. And if you happen to have any errors too, I might be able to help also if for some reason they're busy and they can't contact you back right away. But don't come to me for everything. Go to them for almost everything. The, I might be able to help out more with the We Speak channel, basically. Okay, so, which mode should I run? I'm going to go with 1 for automatic, the guided installation, which is recommended. So, hello, uh, user, basically, Jacob. Welcome to the automatic guided installation of Reconnect24. The patcher will download any files that are required to run the patcher if you're missing them. The entire process should take about 1 to 2 minutes. I think, for me, it took about 3, three to 4 minutes, possibly. Uh, but before starting, you need to tell me uh, one thing. For Everybody Votes channel and Nintendo channel, which region should I download a patch? Now, I live in the U.S., so I'm going to choose 2. I click Enter. Great. After passing this screen, any user interaction won't be needed, so you can relax and let me do the work. Did I forget about something? Yes. To make patching even easier, I can download everything that you need and put it on your SD card. Also, I hope I'm not talking too fast either. I've never been told that I was ever talking too fast. Please connect your Wii SD card to the computer. Now, uh... Whenever I did this on my laptop through an SD card before, it automatically detects it. Now, since I'm going to imitate that I'm putting on an SD card by using a flash drive, it'll say that it's not... Or, oh, well, I'll just go and type in one for connected. So, congrats, I've successfully detected your SD card. Okay, never mind. It showed a different screen. Uh, if it doesn't detect an SD card, what you'll do is you'll set... Uh, or, yeah, you'll click 3 for change drive letter. So, uh, whichever drive letter it is, so F. Uh, F is my flash drive, so I'll type in F. 
and then it'll come back to this screen. Uh, and now, uh, it says the entire patching process will download about 30 megabytes of data. For me, it took about 5 to 6 minutes. Shouldn't take long. I guess it all depends on if you're connected through Wi-Fi or Ethernet uh, on your local internet source. That didn't make sense, but you know what I'm saying. So, well, I'm going to choose one for start patching, and you'll see folders show up here. In the end, uh, you only have an apps folder and a WAD folder. So, these are temporary folders that are only going to be there for right now. Huh. Oh yeah, and while it's patching, they have fun facts show up. Like, the music used in many of the Wii's, ch Wii's channels, including the Wii Shop, uh, Me, Check Me Out, and Forecast Channel, was composed by Kazumi Todaka. I've never heard of him before. Uh, there's another one in here that talks about... Uh, you may have seen Reconnect 24's tweets like... Um, the blue light whenever you get a message... Oh, uh, you can press the reset button while the Wii's in standby to turn off the blue light that glows when you receive a message. I didn't, actually didn't know that before until not long ago. But anyways, about the blue light, basically... The blue bird, or the blue warbler, uh, the Japanese bird, uh, that's the, or that's what the blue light on the Wii goes to. <whistles> kind of similar to that. They have it, uh, they have a short little video of it on Reconnect 24's YouTube channel. You guys should go check it out. Um, uh, so, now, patching done. Every file is in its place on your SD card. Please proceed with a tutorial that you can find on uh, wii.guide slash reconnect24. This link will also be in the description. Press any key to close the patcher. So, thank you for, very much for using this patcher. Smiley face. Have fun using reconnect24. And I, I myself, I just went ahead and let it close by itself instead of Xing it out. So, what you're going to find on SD card now in a WAD folder is everybody votes channel reconnect24usa.wad. Nintendo Channel Reconnect 24 USA.wad, iOS 31.wad, and iOS 80.wad. So, now that we got that, uh, also in the apps folder, if this is your first time, uh, if you just put Homebrew Channel on your Wii for the first time, it'll also add in the mail patcher that Reconnect 24 has, so you can receive mail and all that stuff from them and from your friends and all that stuff that you're. Uh, that you added as a Wii friend with. They added that on here. And then Wii Mod Lite. This is the one that you're going to need to use. Uh, this is the one that you're going to need to use to uh, basically install the wads. So it's kind of what it looks like. Uh, and this is what the other one looks like. So now you know what to look for on the Homebrew channel. Sorry they're so grainy and pixely, but that's what the small pixel files look okay. like. Anyway, so now that I got this done, let's go ahead and switch over to the Wii. Okay guys, now that we're up here on the Wii, let's go ahead and, if you don't already have the Homebrew channel installed, uh, there's a whole ton of videos on YouTube. I might consider making my own uh, uh, how-to for the Homebrew channel someday. But not yet. So, let's go ahead and start. Now that we've got those files on the SD card, just now I noticed I left my desk light on. I could see it in the TV. Okay, just in case that decides to shine in the way. So, the first thing we're going to do is go over here to Wii Mod Lite and go ahead and load that. It might take a second depending on how long. It says apply patches, please wait. That is out of focus, I think. Okay, hopefully that'll focus. So, uh, it'll be this second option right here. Second one down. The first one says iOS's. So we need to go down to WAD Manager. So, and then select Wii SD card, or Wii SD slot. And, so, uh, it's going to put you in a different WAD folder, so you'll click like what I just did at the very top there's three a three dot thing I clicked at the very top click on that and then you'll be at your main directory of your SD card now just scroll down until you find the WAD folder it'll be in all caps so click on 
uh, click A on that. Now, so the ones we were looking for, and then uh, press your plus button on your Wii Remote to select Everybody Votes Channel Reconnect 24 USA, iOS 31, iOS 80, and Nintendo Channel Reconnect 24 USA. Now, whenever you click A to proceed onto the next screen, I'll ask you to install those. It might take maybe five minutes or a little bit over. And then once all that's the, once all that is done, you'll have it in, done and installed, and then you can go back to your Wii Mini. Now, if you ended up having an error like I did, uh, you'll have the Nintendo Channel uh, iOS 80 and iOS 31 WAD installed, but the Everybody Votes Channel WAD for me didn't install. So what I had to do on this screen, basically these three right here were installed. So after my uh, Everybody Votes Channel thing didn't install, I came back to this screen. I clicked minus for this. So basically the what the patched one I had installed before, it uninstalled it, and then once it got done installed, came back here one more time and I just pressed A to install it and it installed correctly. So now that we're past that part we're going to head back to the Wii Menu. So press the home button to return to the loader. Sorry about the focus. And good thing this thing has autofocus. So now that we're all done uh, now uh, there is another uh, on their website on Wii.Guide, I believe they go through the steps for the mail patcher too. So if you need help with that, go check Reconnect24's website. I'll leave all the links for you guys in the description below. So now that we're done, let's go back to the system menu. Okay. So, now that we're back here on the main menu, let's go over here to the Nintendo channel. Got my webcam had a full battery still. So, now the first time you load it, it might end up... Oh, come on, camera. The first time you load your Nintendo channel, it might show that error has occurred like as if you didn't patch it at all. So you you probably will not see this your first time. It'll probably say error has occurred, wait a little while and try again. What you just need to do is go back to the Wii menu and then uh, open it back up again. And then you should get onto this screen, I believe, if I remember right from whenever I tried this. It'll say, your message failed to send because the Nintendo channel is currently undergoing maintenance. Please try again later. And this uh, this screen uh, will show up every time you open the, up the Nintendo channel now because the Nintendo channel is basically looking for a certain file, a specific file, but uh, they, we don't know where it goes to. So for right now, the, the Reconnect 24 developers just had... It showed this message for now, but you can ignore it and click OK. So, and you'll have to opt through all the messages. Uh, like, if you want to opt in for messages, and they'll send you uh, notifications on your uh, Wii Mail desktop. So, and once you're all done, go through the setup, you'll get these right here. These, right now, these are the only ones that they could show with. Uh, they plan on putting up their own custom videos or some old videos and these ones right here are some of them that they were able to download before Nintendo shut down the Nintendo channel and yeah, as you can see these are very current August 9th 2010 February 20th 2011 now I haven't tried this yet but I think they put this description here click this if you want a 404 lol I haven't implemented other videos yet I haven't tried it myself. Um, you guys could try it if you want to, but uh, I don't think it should do anything bad to it. It might just say you need to restart the channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know you guys like watching 
these types of videos and that should that I should do them more often. And if you aren't already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. And after that, click the bell icon right next to it, and that'll notify you get, that'll notify you guys of when I upload a video or whenever I do a live stream. Which uh, those will typically happen the first Saturday of each month. Well, typically while I'm in college. Other than that, whenever I'm during the summer, I'll try to upload one every Saturday. Or every other Saturday. I don't remember my schedule now. Uh, anyways, guys, right here is my subscribe button. Here's the video YouTube thinks you'll like. Or no, this is this right here. This right here is the is my most recent upload video right here. Right here, right here. This one is what YouTube suggests uh, that you watch next. And uh, why not? I guess I'll put another one here. This right here is what's best recommended to you by me, or, or by or what YouTube thinks. So best review by me, I guess. I'll figure out where I'm going to put it. But most likely, subs subscribe. Most recent YouTube suggests. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.